to another episode of Let's Talk Boxing. I'm Letty. I'm LB. And let's, let's get into a championship fight we have popping yeah. on this weekend. We got a good one. Uh, so we have the defending champ, Josh Taylor, out of Scotland. A.K.A. the Tartan Tornado. Uh, versus Teofimo Lopez Jr. out of Brooklyn, New Junior. York. Hey, the takeover. Takeover, takeover? The takeover, takeover. Okay, so we just got done watching the press conference. Yeah. Um, Damn, there were some words said even before yeah. leading up to the uh, um, to the press conference. And I feel like Teal always gives people something to talk about. All right. Um, yeah, some heated exchanges. And I don't know if they really yeah. just don't like each other. got bad blood or they're trying to sell the fight. But there were some things that it's like, damn. Um, but anywho, we'll talk about the press conference in a little bit. But tell us how we got to the fight. Yeah, uh, you know what? I am so excited for this fight, and I feel like uh, this fight isn't being talked enough. And I think it has to do with some of the things that you were talking about, and Teal, some of the things that Teal, you know, says, right. um, you know, could be the reason why. But yeah, let's talk a little bit about, you know, before we got here, um, you know, Josh Taylor, um, you know, previously he was the undisputed champion yeah. at 140 pounds. Um, and after that, you know, uh, his most recent fight, you know, we have with, uh, Jack Catterall, um, where a lot of people thought he, um, a lot of people thought he lost that fight and that was his last, uh, fight. And, um, you know, he did vacate the other belts, which is why he's not undisputed. Um, and that was his last fight. Um, and then you got Tio on the other hand, and this is going to be his third fight at 140 pounds. Mm -hmm. You know, this is his first title shot. You know, he's, uh, definitely trying to make his mark on the division. Yeah. And as he would say, he's trying to take over. <laughs> but we'll just have to see. Uh -huh. um, and, you know, this is just, this is, you know, Tio being a, a previous unified uh, world champion. And you got Josh Taylor, like I said, who was the uh, undisputed yeah. champion at 140. So I'm just excited. That's that's really why I'm excited to see this matchup. Yeah, and Josh Taylor is one of the top dogs in that yep. division. Yep. Um, yep. He beat some great Dog. fighters. Some yeah. great fighters, yeah. which is, you know, he definitely earned that undisputed at 140. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's a good matchup. So good that I'm just like, I really don't know what's going to happen in this fight. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. But so, I mean, yeah. So the press conference, yeah. let's talk a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. um, I think they kind of, I don't think the press conference was actually kind of long. I think that it was it was yeah. short, yeah. probably. <laughs> so some people wouldn't say too much up there. Yeah. I don't know because there was a lot being said before the press conference. Yeah, and I feel like I feel like they, the the real press conference was that sit down that they had. Yep. Yeah, uh, that was very uh, entertaining. It was heated. Yeah, it was heated. I'm you know, ended, exactly, like. exactly. And uh, Josh Taylor mentioned that he was di felt disrespected by some of the things he said about you know um, you know him being from uh, Scotland, and um, also um, you know he was so. He was so, uh, he didn't like it so much that he got up and walked out. He sure did. He sure did. But that, that was before the press conference. Yeah, though. I yeah. felt like he just got tired of hearing mm -hmm. him, and it seemed like it got to him a little bit. Um, as you guys know, Tia was like, you know, I want to kill this man in the ring. And, yeah. you know, those was the words that he, yeah. something like that. Yeah, you know what? And, and you know, I, I, I really didn't like that, uh, that comment from Tia, just for the simple fact of, we already know how hard this and rough this this sport of boxing is, and you know mm -hmm. boxing has lost, um, you know fighters over over the years, including this year. So I I really didn't like that, um, but you know that's that's something he said, and he wasn't the first person to say that type of stuff either. So yeah, and I mean it, it's it's a sport, right? You you yeah. know what you get yourself into going into yeah. this. Um, it's just how people go about saying things yeah. to me you know it's like i mean i've heard a lot of fighters say that yeah. but also it's like you know i hope um i know i'm gonna get this win or whatever i'm gonna do my thing but i hope we both get to come home to our families and that's yeah. kind of like the one thing you know yeah. but anywho yeah and you can tell that josh taylor was he you know he even that. mentioned that you know that that even lit another fuel in in him you know yeah. to go out there and uh you know he he said in an interview yeah, we'll see who's, um, I think he said unconscious or something at the end of the fight. Yeah, well, we're going to have to wait and see. Yeah. It's going to be good. So there's yeah. definitely a backstory there. Yeah. Uh, Y'all got to tune in. We're definitely yeah, going to be tuning this in. Is the I one. wish you were in New York. I wish you were watching yeah. the fight. It is Puerto Rican uh, weekend also parade yeah. out there. So Shout it's out to Puerto It's going to be popping out there. Mm -hmm. um, we got some good undercards also. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, 
Nothing crazy popped up in this press conference, I don't think. Mm -hmm. um, just like at the end when they did a little face off. Yeah, I I, I didn't like that. I definitely wanted to see them uh, face off, just to see that you know I wanted to see the size the size difference you know in them head to head. Um, so I was kind of disappointed in that, but uh, you know it could be because of uh, the previous top rank uh, face off with Devin Haney and Loma. Maybe that's what it is, but. I would have liked to see the face off. Yeah, I would have wanted a mic there because I want to hear what they were talking about. Let us know if yeah, you guys can relips or whatever. Yeah. Uh, let us know what they were talking about. Josh Taylor looked like he was coming for him. Yeah. Um, but let's kind of get into the fight a little yeah, bit yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and kind of give our predictions. Yeah. This was a really difficult fight for me to choose as to like who I think is going to win. It's like sometimes I'm like, okay, this one I can see this one winning and I can yeah. see Tio and I can see yeah. Josh winning. Yeah, and, and this is, a, you know, this is such a good fight. I mean, these fighters do different things well. Um, you have Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor, you know, he's, I, I feel like he's a pretty good all-around fighter. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he has shown in the past that he can box, but that man loves to bang also in the inside. And, um, and he's a southpaw also. Um, you have, then you have Tia Fimo on the other side where, you know, he's such an explosive, uh, athletic yes. fighter. Yep. Um, and you know, he's a, he's, he's a, a, a pretty, a pretty good boxer too when he wants to be. Um, and so I'm, you know, for, for those reasons, you know, I'm very excited about this. Uh, the other thing that both of these fighters do, um, both of these fighters are, um, you know, can counter punch. I will give the edge to Tia Fimo yep. when it comes to counter punching. Um, but Josh Taylor has also showed that he can counterpunch. Um, I've seen um, uh, Josh Taylor fight a little bit going forward. Um, I mean, I've seen him fight going forward, and I've seen him fight a little bit uh, going backwards sometimes, too. So, you know, this fight is good. This is going to be a good one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who's going to win. I don't know who's going to win this fight. Uh, and, you know, both of them coming off a fight that didn't look so yeah. well yeah. in. Um yeah. Teal with uh, Martin, a Spaniard boxer, yeah. and then we had um, Jack Catterall, like you said, yeah. uh, from the UK, yeah. and they both didn't look that well compared yeah. to what they are. Um, of course, we had Josh Taylor talking about, you know, he just, after he became uh, undisputed, he was just yeah, party. Turn it up, turn it up. <laughs> um, eating good food. Yeah. And he just wasn't, you know, kind of maintaining his weight or, you know, in the gym. Yeah, and didn't take him seriously pretty much what he said. Yeah. And I'll say that I didn't really right. recognize him. Yeah. I mean, he didn't look the same. Right, like the exactly. same that we normally see him. Yeah, like, sure. you you beat some big dogs in that division and yeah. then you go, you know, yeah. not and fight and you just yeah. didn't look the same. Yeah. Um, same thing for Teal. He yeah. didn't look his best. And some um, people thought, and some people thought that Teal lost that fight too, the Sandor Martin fight. So both of them got, you know, uh, both of them got something to prove and uh, want to remind everybody why they've been um, the top, mm -hmm. why yeah. they've been, you know, yeah. champs. And I mean, like you said, Josh Taylor to me, uh, he's the taller fighter in, in, uh, in this fight. Um, he to me uses good levels also when he fights in the ring mm -hmm. he, he he uses the low levels um to set up his shots he mm -hmm. uses his jab when he wants to he doubles up and triples up on that jab mm -hmm. um and he fights like you said good on the inside he be throwing them sneaky punches yep. on the inside i feel like that's when he's more explosive yep. and, yeah and if you if you want to see how sneaky he is you get to see how he uh you know he'll sneak in an uppercut on you uh we saw what happened in the, uh, the jose ramirez fight so, you know, you definitely throw some uh, some sneaky uh, shots in there like you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And you can't wait. Look at the ref to be mm -hmm. like, hey, you know, yeah. cut it, break us up. You got you to keep going yeah. because he's not going to wait. Yeah. If you don't hear the ref, he's mm -hmm. going to hit you on the inside still. Yep. And you, exactly, exactly. Don't, you got to make the ref, uh, you got to make the ref definitely do his job. Um, it's funny because I remember in the the fight uh, with Haney and Lomachenko, they were like, oh, watch him on the inside, dirty. I'm like, no, no, Josh Taylor's the one you got to watch you gotta on watch the inside. Him. You know, you got to... Then again, the ref has to step in because yep. don't wait, don't yeah, look, he... don't wait. Use your defense at all times, yeah. you know, or protect yourself. Yep, and also at the... At the you got to watch him at the end of the bell, too, because sometimes he, he'll let he'll let some go a little close to the bell or after the bell, so you definitely got to be on guard. And I've seen that with... Uh, Regis. With... With Regis and Jose Ramirez, so um, you know, yes. so that's definitely you know he's definitely Tio gonna have to look out for that. Yeah, look out for that. Um, now Tio, like you say, he's in a, he he's got good uh, athleticism yeah. in the ring. Um, 
he has power and to me he can throw some good combinations mm -hmm. but the only thing with Tio I would say is just damn keep your damn right hand up um he I feel like he needs to work on the defense he, mm -hmm. he does a lot of that shoulder roll again yeah. you have to be good and being able to perfect that yeah when and you I do and, that. yeah and I think it, it and it's kind of go along with that I mean I feel like um you know when it comes to defense you know he he uses he tries to use his athleticism uh, more so than being fundamentally sound as far as you know defensively by keeping his you know his hands up keeping his guard up you know you just I feel like he does rely on his uh, athleticism defensively. Yeah, and I but just, he does have good feet though. He got some good feet though when yeah. he wants to. When he wants to, he got some good feet. Um, I mean, yeah, we see him train with yeah. his feet and all that. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, I feel like if he just just watch we're watching some of his fights he just looks different than when he fought that loma fight like that loma fight was like okay you know we have something here and then just so uh you know he did get dropped uh he's gotten dropped twice taylor i think he's only gotten dropped once before mm -hmm. um so i'm just it's really difficult for me to say who um i feel like if theo doesn't clean up the difference a little bit more he has say that he's been working on things to be his own Tio, mm -hmm. I feel like if he if he can't adjust to that defense a little bit better, I'm kind of leaning towards Josh Taylor to win this fight. Who do you? Okay, so is win? that your prediction? I just I just don't know. I really don't. Know. It's like I'm leaning a little bit towards Josh Taylor, but it's like if Tio could keep that hand up and just not get hit so much because he's been getting hit a little bit more, mm -hmm. um, then I feel like he might take the win. But if he can't adjust to just blocking shots. Mm -hmm. Um, then I feel like Josh Taylor can land some really good punches because yeah. he's beating Jose Ramirez, which was a champion. He's beating Regis, mm -hmm. which is like, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the boogeyman for me in that division. Like, that boy can hit. Um, and well, Yeah, he was looked at as a boogeyman until Josh Taylor beat him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, he's taking out these top dogs mm -hmm. in this division. And I just feel like if you don't have some good defense also, yeah. you can get caught and he can, I think win off going on the scorecard mm -hmm. but what do you man i kind of yeah so uh yeah so this fight is definitely going to be an interesting one one of the things i'm looking forward to in this fight is to, i feel like this fight we're going to be able to answer um how um tio's power actually transfers to 140 because we've seen um josh taylor like you said in there with um arguably the biggest puncher in the division and just to show like you know, uh, how much of a dog he is. Like, Josh Taylor is probably the first person that I've seen Regis um, um, not respect Regis's power. You know, I, and not give... Usually when Regis lands someone, people start acting different. Yeah. But that was not the case with Josh Taylor. You know, he was fighting Regis on the inside. And before that fight, I didn't think that anyone was going to be able to do that, honestly. To be Regis. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and to, and to be able to sit there. You know, he was trading with Regis, you know, and that's... And that was the biggest puncher in the division. But yeah, you kind of talked about it. Um, he's fought nothing but dogs um, at 140. Um, even going back to when he, you know, when he got his first title, when he was fighting in the World Boxing Super Series, um, there was two titles who entered. Regis had one of them, and uh, uh, Baranichek had one of them. And he went through, and he went through. Uh, uh, what's the name? Uh, Victor Postal, Baranichek. And, uh, you know, I think Ryan Martin from the United States and then went through um, uh, Regis, Regis Pro Grades, which is, which is how he became unified. And, and then, then after that, and then, and then, and then you know, you had a job and then you had uh, Jose Ramirez who had was other unified and then he went through him. So in his last fight, in his last six fights, he's fought nothing but undefeated fighters. I mean, he's literally got the only... He literally gave Jose Ramirez his only loss in his record. And Regis. Yeah, and Regis. And Regis. So, I mean, that's just to show, like, how much of a dog, you yeah. know, uh, Josh Taylor is. And um, that's why I said when I saw that, um, you know, that Catterall fight, you know, he kind of didn't look the same as these other fights Absolutely. that I was mentioning. Now, I will say this. You know, Josh Taylor has been through some fire. I have seen him hurt. But he still figures out a way to get the job done, and he, and he definitely has the heart of a champion. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say nothing about that. Um, I seen um, 
uh, you know, post all, you know, he had wobbled him before, had him a little bit on, on shaky legs. I've seen uh, Jose Ramirez, you know, stumble him towards the end of a round one time, but he still comes back strong. Even if you look, if, even if you look at that Jack Catterall fight, when Jack Catterall dropped him, I think it was for the first yeah, time in he, his career. First time in his career, yeah. he got back up. Yeah, he got back and up he and he good, fought strong. He didn't yeah. look like yeah. he was wobbled or anything. Yeah, yeah, but you know, he, he kind of got on the back foot a little bit. But um, yeah, then the next round he bounced back strong, and even those last, even those those championship rounds at Catterall, he definitely did um, show that he had that championship grit. Mm -hmm. You championship know what I mean? Heart. Yeah. So that's kind of what I think about Josh Taylor. And then, but you know, I see Teal on the other hand, like man, that that kid is explosive. He is. He's explosive. He's got power in both hands. He got power in both hands. Um, but I I am curious to see you know how it translates. Um, you know, uh, against, you know, the upper echelon of the division, um, because he hasn't fought, um, those yet. Um, he did come off, you know, Sandor Martin, you know, he is a good fighter. You know, Sandor Martin had wins over Mikey Garcia, uh, you know, during that fight. But, you know, that, like I said, a lot of people thought he, you know, he didn't look his best. Um, and the other thing during that fight is he kept getting caught with that check right hook. And he really didn't make the adjustment in that, in that fight. So, you know, you kind of talked about, you know, him making the uh, defensive adjustments. So it's going to be interesting to see if he can. And, you know, that right hook is not as mean as Josh Taylor's right hook. I mean, Josh Taylor's got a very, very good right hook. If you watch all of his, uh, if you watch all of his fights, he was landing the right hook very well on um, on uh, Jose Ramirez. And that was really the, the best shot he was landing on Regis. And the thing about Josh Taylor is, you know, that man not only goes up top, but he does not neglect the body. He is a very good body puncher as well. That's right. He is. So, um, so yes, yeah, so that's, um, you know, something that, uh, that hopefully that, you know, Tio did make an adjustment on that and watching out for that, that, uh, that, uh, that, um, uh, that check right hook because, like I said, they're, south, they're both south. You know what, though? And Tio yeah. did say this is one of the first times that he yeah. did watch tape on, yeah. um, his opponent. Yeah. So, Maybe yeah. he picked up on it. We're just going to have to wait and see yeah. how Teal can adjust to uh, yeah. Taylor. And another thing that you said, you know, when you said, uh, yeah, Teal said he feels like he's getting back to himself. I saw a couple of interviews with him and his dad. And his dad made it seem like, you know, I was I was messing him up by just telling him to jab. He's like, all I was telling That's him right. to do is jab every three seconds. And he goes, I feel like I was taking oh. away my son's gifts. He's like, my son has the gift to, to, um, to be able to read what the fighter is doing. And he, I, it seems like what he said by... Him telling him to use that jab, it took away his ability to think and react in the uh, think and react in the fights. That, and that's, so that's a good call because yeah. I think Tio mentioned that himself. Yeah. Also, I don't yeah. think he wanted to put saying his daddy yeah. was the one that was saying that because he was like, you know, yeah. my coach or you yeah. know, they were talking to do this. Yeah. So that's yeah. part of what he meant. This, yeah. I didn't. Yes, that. yes. So that's why I think uh, think too. So I definitely um, I probably see him see? probably being a little bit more patient in this fight and also um, you know looking to counter punch because I think you know he's gonna be thinking and trying to place his shots. If you watch his other fights, you know coming up, he was really that was really what he was doing. You know he was catching and shooting um, more so. But you know I will say this about his jab though. He when he does throw his jab, when he uses, when he uses his jab. It's a good jab. When he uses it. It's a good jab and. Um, um, it's a good power jab. Um, um, and I will say, uh, Jose Ramirez, his jab did give, um, did give, um, Taylor. Taylor a little, a little bit of issues, a little bit of issues. But, um, the main shot that I saw that Jose Ramirez was landing was that left hook. And that was the shot that actually, I think hurt him at the end of a round. And, uh, Teal's got a mean left, he got a mean left hook. So, um, you know, I definitely think he could take advantage of that. And the, um, I think Teal is the more... Probably, you know, him being the most um, sharp, I mean, the most um, explosive athletic fighter, I feel like, that Josh Taylor has fought. Um, Josh Taylor, sometimes he he uh, tends to lunge at times. And, you know, Tio has the athleticism and the counterpunching ability to be able to catch Josh Taylor. So, um, you know, I think that he'd definitely be able to catch Josh, Josh Taylor some. And I think he's going to be easier to hit than a Sandor Martin. I just don't think that it's going to be enough to put Josh out. So but we'll have, to, we'll have to wait and see on that one. And I will say this. Um, you know, when uh, when Josh Taylor was fighting Catterall, and he was, 
Josh Catterall was being patient and was boxing and making um, making Josh Taylor miss. It was frustrating Josh Taylor a little bit, and it had made and it made Josh Taylor lunge like I was talking about earlier. It made him lunge. So I think if you know some of the things you're saying, like if he cleans up his defense and he does you know try to try to box more, I think it'll be easier for him to set up that punch on Josh Taylor. So. <laughs> You know, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. And I mean, that makes yeah. sense. Again, we know that Josh Taylor can yeah. exchange. So if you yeah. want to exchange, Josh yeah. Taylor is going to be there on the inside. Yeah. Also, so. And, and in that Regis fight also, and in that Regis fight, Regis has success too when he decided to box too. So, um, I, I, so I kind of, yeah. that's how I kind of think that, uh, that, um, T.O. is going to actually come out. Okay. Well, so but, but, um, but yeah, so, you know, pretty much. You know, I know, I know, you know, I, you know, I get going. You know he gets um, going. Another fight that I was looking at uh, when it came to T.O. in this fight, um, I was, I also looked at um, the fight with him and Nakatani. I, that was one of the fights I wanted to look at um, was because of the size difference. You know, Josh Taylor is a huge 140. You look at him versus uh, Regis and Regis usually looks pretty big mm -hmm. and he was clearly bigger than Regis Progre and he's talked about moving up. So that's kind of what I wanted to see. And that was really one of uh, uh, Tio's toughest fights, you know, before he took that L. Um, that was one of his toughest fights. And after, I remember after the fight, he was like, no more tall fighters. Remember? <laughs> He's like, no more tall fighters. So definitely, um, I think that I think that, that could give him some issues. And, you know, with the different things that I was talking about with Sandor Martin, the issues that he had with him, I think that Josh Taylor is a better uh, a, a better uh, fighter, all-around fighter than a Sandor. And I think he's uh, more offensively gifted than a Sandor. And I think he punches harder. I mean, he's got knockouts on, you know, yeah, a good player at 140. Out. And I just think that that's going to be the reason. I think that's going to be too much. Now, uh, it, but but I wouldn't be shocked if, all, if you know, if Tio's power comes good. through. Because I do think he's going to be able to catch him. Yeah. So, um, you know, definitely there is it's opportunity for him to win. But... You know, um, if I had to choose a winner, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with um, uh, I'm gonna go with Josh Taylor. I'm gonna go with Josh Taylor for the W. Okay, knockout. So, I'll knock out. <laughs> you know, you know, I, you know, uh, I was thinking about this, and I really and I really couldn't make up my mind. It'd be just for the simple fact of because you know we've seen we've seen um, Teal get dropped. But like every time Tio, I feel like he's gotten dropped. It's not he's not on shaky legs. Right. He's you know, he's not wobble. He's not flip. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? So he always comes back strong. He doesn't look, you know, you know, hurt, visibly hurt. hurt. So I can see this going to a decision, but you know, Josh Taylor, he looks to be in tremendous shape. And, you know, I definitely think he is capable. I mean, we see him stop other guys at 140, but um, so I'm, I'm not, I don't know how it's going to end up. I just think that Josh Taylor is going to end up on top. He's going to end the edge. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to wait and see. I just know it's going to be a good fight. Yeah, you don't want to miss this. It's so difficult for mm -hmm. me to choose, but I just, like I said, if Teal doesn't make those adjustments, I can lean a little bit towards Josh Taylor. But again, mm -hmm. if he knows how to do the differences, Teal still has a chance. But yeah, yeah, yeah. we're just going to have to wait and mm -hmm. see. And, uh, we'll be back for the recap and yeah. talk about who won the fight and talk a little bit about what happened. Yep. In so, yep. But yeah, uh, definitely let us know below how you guys see this fight going or who you guys got. Uh, but that's all we got. So thanks for tuning in, y'all. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Or talk your shit. And.